Hi, it's Rob here from Rob Shed of Tech, and today I'm showing you uh, a dual monitor setup for VMware Horizon uh, on a single Samsung uh, smartphone. In this case, it's a Samsung Note 9, um, and um, we have a, a laptop. This is newly released um, and will be available in numbers uh, at some point uh, in the very near future, uh, and I'll be releasing a video to show you all about that uh, as and when it's available. Um, this one's a fully convertible device, has a touch screen, so you can operate your, your Windows menu from there. Um, it's also, uh, the screen folds back, as I said, it's convertible, has a backlit keyboard, uh, has two USB-C ports uh, on the right-hand side and two USB-C ports on the left-hand side. One of those is for connection to the smartphone, the other one is for, for power. On the right hand side, these are both peripheral ports, and um, and we have a separate 15.6 uh, inch monitor, uh, 1080p. Uh, this one's wireless as well, so you can do wireless decks to it, but we're not doing that at the moment. Um, comes with a nice uh, touchpad on this laptop here, so you have a, a mouse. I've increased the size of the mouse cursor, so hopefully, you can see that uh, tracking across uh, during the video. Uh, anyway, um, what we have here is we have VMware Horizon, so we have this running on a PC, which is in my office. Um, this is running under Hyper-V, um, so we have the Active Directory infrastructure with two AD servers, uh, PKI, um, we also have a VMware Horizon connection server, and behind that we have a Windows 11 um, desktop virtual machine and a Windows 10 desktop virtual machine. Both those are running the VMware agent so they can connect through to the Horizon connection server and through that we can then present we use the Horizon client to connect to the the actual PC and that's what we have here we have a Windows 11 uh, virtual PC but as you can see we have it on two screens we're able to move the mouse from one screen to another uh, we can put numbers in this spreadsheet here and we can add text to this here so we can go today is Tuesday. Um, and we can do various things we can do. We can change that to title. Um, we can increase the font. So yeah, it's basically using Word. Actually, we need to highlight that. So let's just increase that a bit. Oh, so, there. so we can, we can, um, we can obviously, um, use this the same way as we would do uh, any um, remote desktop instance so you know VMware Horizon has been widely used throughout the the last two years um, it's widely used for remote working and what this means is that quite easily we can provide a portable fully portable both of these units have batteries in them so neither of them are on charge at the moment they're both being charged up at the moment and um, we can show the battery level on this one so is F1, I think. Yeah, so we've got 68% on that one. Um, and uh, this one, we can show it. Let me bring it up here so we can actually show the battery level. Uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Put that on. Uh, and close this off. We should see that the battery level is up there. So, um, it's still fairly full on that one. Um, so anyway, and you know, we can do things on here. So we have, we have Teams running. So that's running here. Um, we can drag windows around. So we can, let's close that down. And then actually, let's turn the battery off because it does get in the way of the, uh, A moment, but it shouldn't show that. There. Right, there we go. Um, so we can move windows around. So let's just wide this one. Now we have got, we are showing the contents of the windows as we drag. So that will make um, that will make 
it slightly slower to respond. Um, bear in mind we're doing this over an internet connection, so so we can move the window this way. Now what we found with with this is we drop it and then we carry on. We do it the other side and we drag the rest of it this way. Um, there we go, and then we can do it the other way. So again, we drag it about halfway, drop it, and then carry on dragging it the other way. There we go. So we can we can drag windows. Um, I think because we're because we haven't got all the optimizations enabled for remote desktop and the fact that we're running all of this on one PC rather than in an sort of in a data center somewhere, um, that is impacting the experience a bit. So it's it's slightly yeah you know, it's not, it's not quite as good as it could be. But however. It's still usable once the windows are in place. You can use it. You can type documents. You can read documents, and you've got a large enough screen to work with. Now these can be two full-size monitors. Um, one of our other videos shows that we've got it running on two 32-inch monitors, or we could actually have a laptop and a 32-inch monitor running together if we wanted to. But I just thought I'd show you the two portable solutions. So um, if you needed to. Uh, work from a, for an office, um, but you need two monitors. Um, you can actually get both of these quite easily into a backpack. Um, both use USB-C charging, so you can charge them both up with the same um, uh, charger. You could even uh, be charging this one and powering this one via uh, USB-C to USB-C if you wanted to as well. So there's enough power coming out of here to actually run this one without uh, depleting the battery. So that would be another way of doing it. And uh, yeah. Um, there we go. So, uh, say it's all from one smartphone, the Samsung Note 9 here. Um, and we're using Vilma Horizon, which recently has introduced a dual display capability to leverage um, that in, um, in DeX. So, yeah, and we can have other apps running, so we can have our Outlook client running if we want to as well. So, there's a Teams meeting there. Um, and I can maximize that or have it multi window if I want to. Um, so yeah, um, there we go. That is uh, a dual display setup for um, fully portable use. Um, so both units are battery powered. They're not actually plugged in charging to anything at the moment. Um, so they're both running under their own battery. So yeah, uh, I thought that would uh, be of interest to, to you uh, on the channel this time. So yeah, uh, feel free to leave uh, any comments. Um, Give us a like if you like the video. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments as well. Um, and if there's any other content you'd like me to post about things like Samsung Dex, then please feel free to do so. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching. Um, have a good day, and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.